All right. We have finally made it on a Celebrity Creator Show. Thank you for your wonderful patience, everyone. Kathy, how's it going tonight? <laughs> Absolutely awesome. And I'm so excited that we are hanging out and have been for the last, well, about an hour with our special guest, Linda P. Jones. How are you tonight, Linda? I'm great. How are you doing? Doing awesome. We just want to let everybody know that um, we are experiencing some technical difficulties. Brian, if you want to tell them why we're seeing just her picture right now. Oh, yeah. Geek talk. I love it. Oh, no. We have a, we just had a slight issue with the incompatibility between our computers. It's I don't want to get into the details of the geek talk, but we tried literally everything we could think of within a short period of time and uh, came up empty as far as getting her video. But we do have her on audio. And we are just going to do an abbreviated version of the show, but we are bringing Linda back for a full show. Uh, and Kathy, I'll turn it over to you for those details. Absolutely. Linda's going to come back on on May 31st. But Linda, we would like you to share with us kind of some of the things that W, America's personal wealth mentor right now. Uh, well, thank you, first of all, for having me here tonight. I'm so sorry that we're having technical problems. Uh, well, you know, that that line of America's Personal Wealth Mentor just sort of stuck because I've been mentoring clients about their wealth and the way that it's different and the way that I work differently is that I'm not coming from the perspective of investing people's money and while I was in the investment industry for over 25 years and I'm very familiar with how that works, I wanted to really come from a place of how do you just build people's wealth the most efficient way possible without any conflict of interest, without a big corporation being in the middle that's worried about their profits and their shareholders and their stock price, without people earning commissions and fees? How can you just simplify it and really do what's best for the people that you're working with and really just most efficiently build their wealth? and? you know basically put everything on a silver platter make it so simple without any jargon or you know this foreign language that we use in the investment industry I just really wanted to reinvent the industry and get rid of that so this is coming from an ideal perspective of how do you just build someone's wealth and so that's sort of how that all came to be it just came that I really was a wealth mentor and that's how I work with my individual clients and then I just, you know, began speaking a lot and being seen here and there, and it just became America's personal wealth mentor. And you are That's on awesome. a rocket ship to success. I remember Kathy and I meeting you, uh, gosh, it's been over a year ago, I think now, at that summit in uh, Los Angeles with that, you were sitting right behind us, you befriended us, you're a wonderful person, we've uh, kept the friendship going. But from that point to where you are now is like night and day. You have really excelled in so many ways. Um, so people know, though, that you come with great credentials. You became or you made your first million dollars at what age? 38. That's remarkable. So this is a woman who is who doesn't just walk the walk, but she talks the talk or is the other way around. She doesn't just talk the talk, she walks the walk. I got it. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm going to say it's really refreshing, Linda, having somebody out there like you with the kind of credentials that you have that can speak to the average individual on a one-on-one -on -one basis and coach so that we can understand some of the things that are told to us that do not make any sense when it comes to um, financing and investing and all of those things. So it's really nice that um, you provide that kind of um, ABC to, to financial wealth that you do, um, really appreciate you teaching in, in the realm that you do. Well, thank you. And one of the things that was really important to me was to not make it be ABC to the degree that it's not powerful. What I've done is I've taken extremely sophisticated investment techniques that are successful and boil them down to the simplest common denominator so that people really understand them because they're in plain English. So it's not that it's not the same old stuff that they've heard before. In fact, if people were in the investment industry, even they could learn 
a lot of things from what I'm teaching because I really take some of the successful patterns and trends that billionaires use and the everyday person can use it without having the billionaire money. So they can be as successful as the most successful wealth builders out there, but I make it extremely simple for people to understand so that they uh, really don't have the confusing jargon and all the lingo and all of that that I think the investment industry has created, which really doesn't serve people very well. Boy, couldn't agree more to that. Uh, I've dabbled in the investment arena many years ago, and for the very reasons you're stating now, it was just, you know, it, it became nothing more than a hobby, and I didn't keep with it because it was just too much. Uh, you know, Linda, you, you are financially independent. You you don't need to work another day in your life, I'm assuming. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm making a lot of assumptions with that statement, but you know, the common uh, conception out there would be that why, I mean, you don't have to do this. You could be laying out on the pool, you could be out golfing, doing whatever you love to do <laughs> in the lap of leisure and luxury, you know, every day. What drives you to do what you're doing to help people like this? Well, that's a great question. And so funny that you said <laughs> lay by the pool and play golf, because that's what my family asked me. Why don't you just lay by the pool and relax every day? <laughs> but I've always been a really driven person. I've been fascinated by what creates wealth since I was a child. It's been a question that I have always wanted to know the answer to. How do you build wealth and why are some people rich and other people aren't? And it's really my life's passion, my life's work. And I, I five years ago when my husband passed away very suddenly, I made the decision to change my lifestyle and move to our second home in Palm Springs, in the Palm Springs area in Rancho Mirage. And I have a fabulous lifestyle here. I mean, I love it. I've got beautiful weather every day and I've got a lot of you know wealth in my life that I can choose to not work if I don't want to. But the reality is, is that I really feel this is my passion and purpose. And one of the things I teach is that everyone has their own currency and their own currency is what your passion and your talents are. And so I really feel that I'm more myself. I'm more doing my, my purpose here on earth when I'm teaching people about how to build wealth and when I'm reinventing wealth for women or wealth for the average investor or really helping people after this financial crisis see what's really going on with money and how they're at an opportunity right now there's a crossroads where people can really learn some unusual things and learn how to build significant wealth right now if they are willing to look forward and see the trends coming and not look in the rearview mirror at where we've been and always do things the same old way but if they can really open their eyes and see some of the opportunity that's being created right now, it is a tremendous time in our lives to invest and really create some serious wealth for people. So I also felt the opportunity, the timing was right for me to really get the message out and really be teaching people what I learned. And I also always felt that I didn't want to teach about finance if it was just the same old thing that I had always learned. And I found that there was a spiritual component to finance, that there is a way to bridge that financial and spiritual world, that there is a connection. And I wanted to teach that connection as well as just really make investing easy for people and show them how they can reach their financial goals and have financial freedom right now because it really is possible. That's amazing. You know, one of the things, Linda, when we first met you that you had shared with us, talking about being passionate um, about this industry for so many years, you read the book Think and Grow Rich when you were like nine or ten, as I remember. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, and then the other thing around the time that we met you or not long after, um, you put together the eight steps to wealth. And that's something that you still share and teach. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's a very basic wealth system, but it really uh, shows people from A to Z. How does wealth start? Where do you start? Where's square one? And where do you end up? And so it, it really starts with your mental picture around wealth, your belief systems around wealth, and it ends with giving and creating your legacy. So is there any part of that that you think is more important than the other or is it all part of a combination that needs to be put together in order to become successful with it? 
Well, it is something that if you're starting out with nothing, then you need to start at step one. But most people have been working for their lives. They've got a 401k plan. They've got some savings. They've got some assets. So most people are coming in at about step three or four where they're looking for either a wealth mentor or they're looking for their money engine, which is that vehicle that's really going to grow their wealth. And the, the biggest mistake that people are making and that most people make is to hang on to the old assets that were popular in the last trend or in the last cycle that we've been in. And I see that a lot right now with real estate where people are hanging on to real estate hoping that that's going to be the, the area that's going to come back and build their wealth. And it's not, in my opinion. It's, um, it's similar to what we went through in the 90s when we had the internet bubble and when internet stocks burst in the first quarter of 2000 when the prices came down people were buying them cheaper thinking oh now they're a great deal and they're going to come racing back and 11 years later even a quality company like Microsoft is still less than 50 percent of the value it was at the peak in 2000 so the biggest mistake I see people making is if they hang on to the asset from the last big trend and don't pick up on where we're going for the future trend like billionaires do and prepare for that and be positioned properly so that they can take advantage of the next trend then they're going to have a period of time where they're not going to be building any wealth and that's one of the biggest issues I see right now with people is they don't have a real strong money engine that's going to grow their wealth and really get them the biggest nest egg that they can have so they can retire comfortably now you you've actually made that uh, system available to folks. Is that correct? The eight steps to wealth. I do have. Yeah, I have uh, uh, info product. It's basically uh, CDs and uh, manuscripts that I offer on my website. Uh, I also have lots of free things and videos on my website that describe the eight steps to wealth. And there is a little bit of video opt-in uh, training when they come to my uh, Global Institute of Wealth for Women, which is shortened at showmewealth.com. They can go there, they can opt in, and there are the eight steps to wealth in video form that I did free for people. Yeah. Awesome. You know, and the other thing for the people that are watching right now and those that might um, view or listen to the um, show after this evening until we have Linda on again, um, if you click on her photograph, click on her nose. Brian, where do we have that going? Uh, it's going to Facebook. Live Wealthy and Smart, her uh, fan page or like page. <laughs> and, and then we also have her banner um, down here on the page as well. And if you click on that, that's going to her showmewealth.com forward slash... Isn't it showmewealth.com and then forward slash? Is that her event page? I think it's livewealthyandsmart.com. But yeah, all, they, oh, okay. that, all they have to do is click on that banner uh, after we're done talking. And uh, they'll be taken to that page where they can look at this incredible event. Speaking of this incredible event. Yes. As we were talking about earlier, Linda, you have like just shot to the moon in a very relatively short period of time. You're all over the place. You're on radio shows. You're on video everywhere I look. You're on Facebook. You're, you have websites <laughs> coming out of every corner of the Internet. And now you have your very own event coming up in Palm Springs. And uh, would, you, would you mind giving us a little sneak peek at what that's going to be all about and what people can expect on that? Sure. Well, I've been very fortunate to have been covered well by the media. I'm uh, actually going to be in Family Circle magazine, too, in uh, July. Wow. Congratulations. But, uh, thank you. But I decided it was time to have a live event because I really wanted to do two things. I wanted to teach people about wealth building so that whether they knew about investing in wealth building or whether they had had no experience before, they could come and get some real meat and real specifics and specific investments, uh, specific information, the, the nuts and bolts of what they would need to build wealth. So I really wanted to have an event that did that. And in addition, I wanted it to be done in a way that most events aren't done. 
I wanted it to feel like people were stepping into a world of wealth. So I chose a very specific hotel that's a very elegant hotel. The International Film Festival here in Palm Springs has a big party there. And Brad and Angelina were over there at, a, at uh, having uh, at that party last time I was over there. Um, and it's just a beautiful, gracious, grand hotel, but, but intimate and a beautiful space with views of the mountains. And so I wanted people to feel wealthy. So we're going to do some fun things like have a champagne and strawberry reception. And we're going to have some Tiffany giveaways. And we're just going to really make people feel wealthy and be surrounded by wealth in addition to learning about wealth. And so those were my two objectives with having my event. It's being held June 23rd to the 25th. That's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And it's just going to be spectacular. People are going to learn a ton. They're going to be so well educated that when they go home, they'll have a personal investment plan with action steps that they can put into practice immediately and start building wealth and really understand where we're going, what they need to do, how they can benefit, whether they have a lot of money or not that much money. There's strategies for both. So I really mm -hmm. made it uh, just really simple, served it up on a silver platter for people, and I'm really excited about it. That's awesome. So not only are we going to get what you're going to serve up on the silver platter, but you have some amazing special guest speakers that are coming to share the space with you. So that is going to be an awesome, awesome time. I do. I've got three really great speakers because I felt that it's not enough just to be wealthy. You need to also have love and health in your life in order to enjoy your wealth. So I'm having Scott and Shannon Peck talk about how to find or create your soulmate relationship and become a love trillionaire. Ooh. And I'm having Tamara Gold talk about how to look wealthy and smart. She's a fabulous stylist friend of mine and has worked with many celebrities. And I'm also having Joyce O'Brien, author of the book Choose to Live, talk about having vibrant health and being healthy and wealthy. And so we're excited to have all of them there. Also, my friend Kay White from London is coming in to MC the event, and mm -hmm. she's the author of the book, The A to Z of Being Understood. She's going to talk about how when you go home, you can talk to your spouse or your significant other about what you've learned at the event, communicate with them about how to implement those strategies, and also how to talk with your financial advisor about how to implement those strategies. So whether you have a financial advisor or not, or whether you invest on your own, it doesn't matter. You can use the strategies either way. So both of those are, um, are going to be talked about how to communicate. And if people want to listen to some training calls that I've done, there's a couple hours of free calls that I've talked about how to build wealth. They can go to livewealthyandsmart.com forward slash wealthy. Livewealthyandsmart.com forward slash wealthy. There's two. They can opt in there. There's two hours of audio calls. And they also will have a link to my event page. And we've still got the early bird special going on. We're selling out fast. We're already half sold out. So well, if they want to see, this is not a big venue. We need to really grab their seats quickly. But they still have the um, early bird code of LWS, like Live Wealthy Smart, 50 and another W. So LWS 50W will get you 50% off our price still for a little while longer. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, you had mentioned that Kay, that is going to be emceeing, is coming in for the event. Where is she coming from? I'm flying her in from London. Yeah. Wow. She lives in London in the UK, and she's uh, been a friend of mine, and we've enjoyed working together over the last year, getting to know each other, and she said she wanted to be my MC, and I said, what a great idea. I'd love to have you as my MC. So she's fabulous. You know what the Beautiful. absolute best part of this whole event's going to be, at least at least from my vantage point and Kathy's vantage point, is we're going to be there. <laughs> yes. I know, that's so awesome. I'm so excited <laughs> to have you there. Yeah, we are too. Yes. We are so absolutely thrilled with where you began when we first met you, and you were already well on your way, and you were just like a sponge absorbing all the – the great stuff from all the speakers up on the stage and, and investing in your education. And it's obviously born, born uh, great fruit. And 
we can't thank you enough for being such a blessing to everyone because again uh, ladies and gentlemen this is somebody who does not need to do this uh, she has no mode of desperation not one in shred of that in her body she does not need to do this she's not out to make money on this just to make money she's out to help people because she's driven as she said earlier so what a blessing you are to everyone out there that uh, is going to come in contact with you and i do highly recommend so does kathy that click on that link beneath and get the information about this event you will want to immerse yourself in that whole environment of wealth that linda is talking about i can't wait to experience that myself because i know knowing linda and so does kathy uh, this is a woman of high integrity and she will this is going to be over the top wonderful can't wait <laughs> well I just think it's time that people realize that some of the myths around investing just aren't serving us anymore and there are like I said tremendous opportunities all around us and people really aren't seeing that they aren't hearing it about it on TV or reading about it in magazines they're really not getting the full picture of what's really going on and it's really important, more important than ever, that people really get the full picture and understand what's really happening to our currency, with the money printing the government's done, with the debt that we're in, how that is going to impact people and how they need to take action. But if they take action, there's tremendous wealth that can be built right now. And that's what's really exciting for people is if they learn this, they are going to make a huge difference in their lives, in their financial lives and in their futures. You know, the other thing that I wanted um, and would love for you to share with us is you have a fabulous series of smart tip videos. So where can you um, let everybody know that they can go and tap in and watch them? They are such an amazing amount of information and it's all free. Thank you. Well, they're, they are called smart tips and you can go to my YouTube Page. I have a wealth mentor page on YouTube. You just go to youtube.com forward slash Linda P. Jones and they're all right there and they're just little two minute videos with things like how to talk to your kids about money or how to get over your money fears. Uh, just little two minute tips that are I think just packed full of information in, in a couple of minutes but really get to the point and really give people some good things to learn. And thanks for bringing that up, Kathy. I went to that actually today. I uh, wasn't even looking for it. I don't even know how I could. Maybe it was from your Facebook, Linda, and maybe a post you did there, but wonderfully done. I mean, like you said, short and to the point, uh, gorgeous video. I mean, it's very pleasant to look at. Of course, you are gorgeous yourself. Uh, that helps a lot. But it was uh, incredible content and very short and to the point. Like you said, it was, it was fantastic. A lot of videos in there. Thank you. Well, my producers are actually... Uh former producers from the Dr. Phil show. Wow. Jamie Geffner is fabulous and her husband Steve and they do a tremendous job with video and yeah Jamie used to be a, a producer on on cast for casting actually on the Dr. Phil show so she's highly experienced and they really turned out incredibly well. I'm very proud of them. Yeah. Thank you. You know and another thing I had I was talking to uh, Linda earlier today I have a friend that was talking about investing um, in gold and silver recently and so I actually sent him one of Linda's videos today as a matter of fact um, and she talks about investing in gold and silver so it, and it's just packed with information and and something that if you're considering that that you really need to watch and listen to because she gives some extreme pointers. Again, it's free out there on the internet. Um, this particular video I found on Vimeo, but um, very, very helpful for anybody that is looking to invest in that arena right now. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they have been tremendous places to invest. I mean, for 10 years, gold has uh, averaged a uh, return of 17% annually, and silver has averaged 24% annually for 10 years. And when you look at that kind of compounding ability, those are two of some really good investments out there. There are others, but those are two places that I think over the next several years are going to provide a lot of opportunity for people. And the reasons for that are many. and and that's what we hope to talk about on your next show is why is that and how do you do it and all that good stuff so we'll get more into detail about why that really makes sense for people if they aren't aware 
of what's going on and, and what the opportunities are and how big the opportunities are there and how the billionaires are so invested in those areas right now. Mm. They really need to learn why the billionaires are protecting their wealth with gold and silver and why the everyday person can and should do that as well. Well, you know what? That just kind of keeps us hanging on the edge yes. of our seat, doesn't it? <laughs> And that's something that um, Brian has a great interest in as well as he was like, oh, yeah. but yes, we do. Um, and that is a very, very important part of what is transpiring and, and going on with our, our world. And I only know that because you've shared that with us. But um, as you know, everybody, we came on late. It's 630 tonight. We are at the top of the hour. We are bringing Linda back on May 31st. We are so, so grateful for those of you who hung with us um, for the 30 minutes to at least be able to share this, this time with us and with Linda. Linda, thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you back with us on the 31st and sharing more about the event. Brian, back to you. Yeah, it was uh, a little bit trying in the beginning, but we at least got a half hour of, uh, you know, even the half hour was excellent information. Uh, Linda is a wealth of it, no pun intended. And <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm, I'm looking at oh, what we're going to be talking about for our, our show that we were going to tonight. And this is like killing me. Uh, I, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> because Linda is so knowledgeable. And it's stuff you do not hear from, you know, mainstream wall street or anywhere else at least that i haven't i'm not that i'm any kind of expert boy that's for sure but uh yeah, i can't wait linda and thank you so much for your patience with us as we uh ventured through those wonderful technical difficulties that we will have fixed repaired and we will see your gorgeous moving flowing face and hair uh in two weeks from tonight <laughs> I uh, can't wait. Gosh darn it. Another two weeks. But in the meantime, everyone, be sure to click on the link beneath. Absolutely. It's imperative. You must do it. Click on the link beneath and uh, go check out her event coming up because, you know, for no other better reason, you're going to see Kathy and I there. So why not? So <laughs> uh, with that, uh, an abbreviated show again, we apologize, but we will be back uh, this coming uh, Tuesday. Hopefully, uh, video and everything willing we will have a full one hour coming back and in two weeks time be sure to check back uh to check out again linda p jones and an absolute blowout of a show so with that uh once again linda and kathy thank you so much uh for this abbreviated time we've had together <laughs> we'll see everyone again thank you absolutely we'll see everyone again uh next week bye-bye now <laughs> good night good night